Hey there! Let's have a look at this pen. This pen was lent to me by Joost Appelbaum. This is the Caveco Collector Collection, sorry, I can't say it, Sport Toyama Teal. So Caveco is now doing a thing where they have the Caveco Collection, uh, which is, I think, limited production. So it's not a limited edition, they're not numbered, but for a limited period of time, they produce a certain pen. And one of them is this, which is a sport, but it is a teal and it's Toyama teal. And I explain to you why it's called Toyama teal in just a minute, hang in there. And that's it. So these are kind of specialish Cavecos. Let's cover the parts of the pen. I'll do a writing sample and I'll tell you what I like about it and what I don't like about it. Let's get started. Let's talk about the Caveco collection Toyama teal. Came a little baggy, and in the little baggy were all sorts of things. Let me open the little baggy and take things out. So we have a little cardboard box uh, in that same teal. Whoa! I know it's not exactly the same, but it's pretty close. Caveco collection uh, with their address in, uh, in Nuremberg. Uh, there is a Caveco sticker, and there is a little sort of foldable. Uh, booklet type scenario with a uh, the history of the company and then here we have the pen the pen is a Caveco Sport I feel that I've reviewed quite a lot of these so if you're regular to the channel then you've seen these before but well here we go anyway it's a small pen it's a pocket pen right that's the attraction of the Sport models just taking a sip here they're small pens but they can be posted and then they're kind of full-size pen so Next for Pilot Metropolitan, you see it's not the world's largest pen, but that's kind of the point, isn't it? Okay, so what about these particular pens? Well, the, the Caveco collection is pens that are limited production. So uh, they make pens for a year. They don't say we're going to make, say, 300 or something. They just produce them for a year, but then they stop production. So we call that limited production. Toyama, in this uh, particular case, it's a city in Japan and uh, the color of the seawater on the coast of that city uh, is uh, is apparently that that teal this very teal and then also you have the reflections of the city in the water which is very attractive and that is kind of meant to be reflected see what i did there in the shiny material of this pen and that's kind of it what's the price well they go for 24.79 uh, without vat on the applebaum website Remember, you can get a 10% discount uh, by clicking the banner on my website. And uh, they come in extra fine, fine, medium, broad, and double broad steel nibs. And that's, uh, that's pretty much it. So let's have a chat about all the parts of the pen. We start on the top here and we have the finial. And I've always really liked this finial. It says Kaveco, Kochwebel & Company. Um, and uh, that, that is a very vintage looking logo, which I, which I like a lot. Then we have the cap, which says Caveco Collection. Uh, the teal is certainly nice, and it is indeed very shiny and reflective. Barrel with a little sort of grippy bit with ribs at the end there, uh, and, and that's pretty much it. We, I unscrew the pen. You get the, the, the pen, as you can see, it's, it's fairly small, but that's the point of the Caveco Sport, because once you post it, you have a full-sized pen. It's never going to be the world's biggest pen, but it's, it's definitely bigger and certainly comfortable. Section, hourglass shaped, uh, and uh, lightly hourglass shaped anyway, and then a number five nib, Caveco in this case, extra fine. It's chrome colored, it has the Caveco logo on it again has some scroll work and you have a plastic feed. Now, um, takes cartridges. Uh, different types of converters have been attempted by Caveco over the years, uh, but I think your safest bet is probably a, um, a cartridge. And, 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 and that's pretty much it. I put in the cartridge that came with the pen and I think now we should just have a look at how it writes. So let's zoom out a bit. I am going to use this posted, otherwise I can't use it. And given that Yoast does not really like me that much anymore, uh, he has sent this with a extra fine nib.
So if I use this without any pressure as a fountain pen should be used, you can barely even read anything because there's barely any ink on the page <laughs> because it is extra fine. I hate it so much it's almost painful. Now, um, extra fine nibs are really not my thing and I'm happy that for some people they are. That leaves broader nibs for me. Also the sound. It basically wants to jam this very sharp nib in my tympanic membrane. But although that would make for fun video, I shan't. Wetness. <laughs> there is no wetness because it's an extra fine. Um, line variation. There isn't much. It's a pretty stiff nib. Uh, what about reverse writing? Yeah, what about it? Uh, it's already fine to begin with, so if you flip it upside down, you get an extra extra fine, and it's so distressing, I don't even want to continue. Uh, I looked uncomfortable, and therefore we stopped. Now, um, that's really all I have. Let's chat about likes and dislikes. And I'm not going to say that extra fine is a dislike, because that's not fair. That's just the specific nib I have. I, I would have have. Sorry, I would have bought this with a broader nib. But I didn't buy it. So you can't look a gifted horse in the mouth, as we say. Let's talk about likes and dislikes. What do I like? What do I not like about the Kaveco Collection Toyama? I think there are a couple of things that are very pleasant about it. And I don't really have many negative thoughts. Um, it's collectible. The sports are incredibly collectible and, and I'll get back to collection part. Uh, it's a sport that means you know what you get, that means that you get nibs that are interchangeable with other sports, that's really nice. Those nibs, the steel ones, are not that expensive. You can easily replace them. I like all of that. That's really great. They're pretty affordable. I will say that if you make a special edition pen and it's 25 euros basically and uh, that's that pretty fair I think I was expecting more for something that was more limited and that's really my only negative point I'm not sure how I feel about companies now sort of doing these limited runs making things more precious than they may actually be you see that with a lot of companies um, that, that, that do these limited runs all the time and they're incredibly expensive pens but what I will say here is except these are not that expensive. 25 euros is not that bad, right, as pens go. So it's more philosophically that I don't fully understand this need to have, oh, the collection special run will only make, you know, not a certain number of them, but we do it for a certain period of time. I don't really get it, but it's a collector's market. People like collecting these things, so I get it from that perspective. And that's all I have. So, cute pen. Thank you for, Yoast, for lending it to me. Uh, I appreciate it. I hope this was useful and I'm glad I see you later. Bye!